Welcome in, all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here, also known as Linda, in case you want to call me by my first name and not Granny. Today is Sunday, June 25th, 2023. It's about 7 o'clock a.m. here in sunny Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey on the Golden Valley from Diamond Art Club and the artist is Chuck Pinson. This is a 36.6 <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters. It is a 50 three colors which includes two ABs which stands for Aurora Borealis which is a type of diamond with a unique rainbow like effect. They reflect light in a way that creates an iridescent multicolored sparkle on the canvas and mimics the glow of northern lights. And this is a diamond paint with friends landscape edition. So yeah, I am not ready to do an update yet, so we're just going to chit chat here. So today is Ellie's vet appointment, follow up on her surgery, so hopefully she gets a clean bill of health. And we don't have to go back to the vet until her comprehensive appointment, which is in October or November. I think she's due for some more of her immunizations. posted a little video of her playing in the yard this morning. I was kind of late to the party getting her, getting the camera. She was really being her playful self. I wanted to show you that, but and then I went in, got the camera, and of course she followed me in, and then I went back out, and it was like she was saying, okay, you're confusing me, I thought we were going in, and then she didn't want to play as much. So her appointment is at 10.45 this morning, and since I'm going all the way into town, across town, I thought, well, I'll make a couple stops. I want to stop into the dollar store, the good dollar store. Um, my son and I have checked out, I think, all the dollar stores in Salem. And the one that's nearest me is small, so it doesn't always have a big selection of stuff. And then the one that's over by where her vet is at is awful. It's filthy. It's, ugh. You walk in and you feel dirty. Um, so then there's another one that's over by Hobby Lobby that's fairly new and it's in the mall. That one is really nice. So that is the one I want to stop at because it's kind of on our way and it's a straight shot shot. Once I get over the bridge, it's just a straight shot down the road 
quite a ways. It takes me about 20 minutes. But, um, yeah, it's nice. And then there's another one farther up the road that is really nice. It is huge. I really like that one. It's so big that you just get lost in it. But I think the one that I'm going to will hopefully have what I want. I am looking for some round stickers like these in silver. And I cannot remember, because it's been so long ago, where I got these round silver stickers. And I do like them over the packs that you can get that have three different colors in them. Because you can't really use the dark blue. It's just too dark. But with me having two paintings that are going to be kitted up, I need I need some more. And also, I don't know whether you guys caught it or not. On I don't know if it was my last video or not, but. I was talking about Diamond Art Club's um, paintings, canvases, and I said, oh, I need to do the red covered bridge. I need to get that. I already have it. Oh my gosh, yesterday I was looking for something and there it was. I forgot that I had it. Just went right out of my brain. Yeah, it's one that I got at Hobby Lobby a couple months ago. So I can take that out of my wish list. Yeah, Hobby Lobby's closed on Sundays, so I won't be stopping there today. I can't remember if this is their 40% off week or not. I think it is um, for diamond paintings. I didn't look it up, so. Oh, there goes Tom Toms. <laughs> Are you laughing, Mary? <laughs> Tom Toms are really going this morning. <laughs> oh, Ellie, you're so funny. She's talking to you. She's she's sending you uh, a message, Mary. <laughs> she's saying, "Good morning, Mary." is being super playful this morning and I'm not telling her she's going to the VET because she knows exactly what I'm saying just like yesterday when I said I need to give you a shower she oh she went and hid I had a heck of a time um, getting her to the shower <laughs> she knew uh, and she is not treat oriented you could offer her anything and nope you're not fooling me it's not worth a treat I've offered her things that she doesn't get all the time um, peanut butter cookies 
you know, her cookies, dog cookies. Um, I don't know, you name it, I've tried it and it does not work for her. And she's never been, I never trained her for that. Um, you know, treats. So, but she's extremely intelligent, I think. <laughs> It's a battle when we go to the to the vet getting her out of the car and I don't know if you've ever tried to get an 80 pound dog to move but it is very difficult I cannot move her have to she gets down on the floorboard of the car <sighs> very difficult to oh I still got plastic right there um yeah so I have to take her underneath her front legs and try to maneuver her out of the car. And I have a small car, so, you know, there's not a lot of room with that bigger dog. She knows exactly where we're at, and um, you know, I think she's afraid of every time she goes to the vet's office, she gets left, and she doesn't like that. She does not like being in a kennel. I'm sure they've got a red flag for me since I complained. I complained to corporate. They called me. So I'm sure they've red flagged me as a complainer. So hopefully that nurse is not there today. It was, and <clears throat> I got to fill my water jugs. Usually I go inside of Walmart to fill them up rather than go to one of the outside fills. But if it's too warm for Ellie to be in the car while I run into Walmart, then to do that, then uh, 
I'll just stop at one of the outside ones. And Walmart is right next to the vet's office. And then there's also a outside water fill right by the vet's office. It costs more to do the one outside than it does in Walmart. Yeah, so those are just a couple things that I need to do as long as I'm clear across town. I should look on whoops. Hobby Lobby side and see. Let me look if oh, check out our weekly ad. Okay, weekly ad. <clears throat> June 26th through Saturday, July 1st. Yep, this is the week. 40% off diamond painting kits. <clears throat> so if you guys go to Hobby Lobby, let me know what your Hobby Lobby has. Our Hobby Lobby does, their trucks come in on Monday, and they do their restocking then Monday and Tuesday. I don't know if I'll venture out to see if there's anything new or not. And then somebody, who was it? Was it? Becky Sloan was saying that Prime Days are coming up next month, I guess. I'm not for sure when. Let me see if it tells me. Um, right, let's look. When? July 11th to the 12th. Okay, and it says C. Potential offers. Where do you find that? Oh, Prime Day deals. Let's see if they have any diamond paint pans. Come on, get me to the crafts. Okay. Amazon devices. Hmm. Doesn't really say. So I need to put that on my calendar. I want to know if they have um, 
anything with diamond painting. Don't really need anything else. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you a funny story. So, I mow my yard and my son's yard. And um, he does a lot for me, so I mow his yard for him. You know, he works all week, and then um, he, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I just tried to help him out. I know what it was like when I was working, and, you know, you have to spend your whole weekend doing chores. No fun. And so I mow his yard too. And it gives me some exercise. So my lawnmower is an electric lawnmower. And the reason why I got an electric lawnmower is because when I, oh, I forgot, there's no sticky up there as far as I can go. Come on, get on there. You can do it. Um, when I had um, a regular mower, I was constantly running out of gas or, you know, and I don't like to store gas. So when I moved, because I had just a small yard then, I just got an electric mower. And my yard was fairly little, and so, you know, it was really easy. But when I moved over here, the yard's a lot bigger that I have to mow. And I'm still using my electric lawnmower, but it's it's old. Um, and the bad thing about an electric mower is that you have to... Um, maneuver around the cord and all that. And I have to use an extension cord on mine because it doesn't, the cord doesn't reach the whole yard. So yesterday my son Uh, got out the my electric mower and was doing something and he put the lawnmower away and I could tell he was a little frustrated or something I didn't know what he was doing out there he comes in and he said I'm buying you your birthday present. <laughs> I said, well, you already bought me my birthday present, which was, you know, my um, metal detector thing. And he said, you deserve more than a metal detector. <laughs> And I knew, I said, oh, a new lawnmower? And he says, yes. And he said, I ordered you a battery-operated lawnmower for your birthday. And my birthday's next month. And he said, it'll be here Friday, which I usually mow on Fridays. And uh, so I said, just in time for the next mowing. <laughs> so it probably won't take me as long to mow because I won't be dealing with cords and it coming undone and I have to walk across the yard to plug it back in and all that good stuff. <laughs> so... But they said 
I didn't read all of it. I need to do that today. But the battery life lasts about a half an hour. And my son seems to think I'm going to be able to mow the yard in a half an hour. And he's crazy. It takes me longer than that. Uh, <laughs> but it only takes about an hour to charge. <clears throat> So I can mow his yard because we have a fence in between our yards. So I could mow his and then I get a break. Or I can get out my other lawnmower and do mine real quick. If I run out of a charge. But during the summer... Um, the lawn isn't as bad to do during the summer because it's so dry. So all you're doing is mowing weeds, not grass. Um, you know, you're just mowing dry stuff. Um, but um, but anyway, when it's hot out, I like to mow. Right away in the morning, you know, I get out there at 8 o'clock and get the mowing done before it gets hot. And then I can also water afterwards. So... I told him, oh, this has been months ago. I said, you know, when you turn 70, that's a special birthday. <laughs> what did you get for your 70th birthday? A lawnmower. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. So now he's gotten me, because I got, I told him that the um, metal detector, because that was kind of expensive, that was my birthday and Mother's Day present. And But he did say, you know, he says, well, if this is easier to use than yours, then maybe I can, he said, then I can mow my own yard. <laughs> but he says, I'm not doing it with that electric cord. He said, that's why I don't want to mow. And <laughs> I'm used to it, so. <laughs> How funny. Well, I guess I should start getting my stuff done here so we can leave for the vet's office. We'll probably leave, well, it's only 7.30. A couple hours we'll leave. I never know how long it's going to take me to get through West Salem and over the bridge. Maybe Sunday morning traffic won't be bad. Because it takes me a good 20 minutes to get across town. And if it's during the week, uh, 
it can take forever to get down into West Salem and then to get over the bridge. Yeah. You want to go early, early, early. So I'll probably talk to you when I get back from the vet's office. So have a great day and thanks for stopping by. Keep cool today.